here we are as Michigan finishes up their chant. The final game of day one at Great Lakes Regional Championship here at Voice of America Park in Westchester Township, Ohio. I'll be your commentator for this evening, Matt Dwyer, as I have been all day. And here we have the final match of the day, Ball State against University of Michigan. Ball State will be attacking left to right in the Cardinal and Black kits. Michigan will be attacking right to left in the white and navy kits. The winner of this game determines who gets the top seed in Pool C moving into the bracket tomorrow. And one step closer to qualifying for U.S. Quidditch Cup. gets there first for Ball State as he picks up the Quaffle, gets beat, Ball State handles it. Ball State comes away with Quaffle and Bludger Control to start us off. Taylor dancing around up top with Jolly. Near side, driving in, passes down to 26, 26 pass across, blocked, and Michigan comes up with it, that's Stevenson. Do my best here with names and numbers. Here we go, White, here we go, White! Stevenson calling out the play. Looking, coming near side. And looks like he's going to use his reset as he's being chased down. Stevenson coming near side. Some Michigan the Bear Trade players, rather. Stevenson jumping. He's got Jolly in his face. He puts it over the top. No good. He's got 15 RCC to recover. Wind kind of took that one as it floated a bit. Ball State will get the ball there. And now Ball State is going to run it in. It's an all bludger situation. Jolly blocked at the hoops. Gets his own rebound. Bludgers are still down. Jolly for number two. And that shot is good. Woo! And that is the first score of the game. 10-0 ball stayed in the lead. Ball State with Bludger Control. And it looks like Michigan was able to recover Bludger Control there as Stevenson moves to the far side. Now our CC. RCC driving in, just going all over the place. Underhand pass to number 98, and she scores. <laughs> 10 all as Ball State brings it up. It's Taylor near side, up to Jolly. Jolly, going far side, thinks better of it. Back to center. Bludger's on the ground, Jolly's gonna drive in. And that's a good goal for Ball State.
has stopped. We'll see what for in a moment here. battle down here as the referees conference 20 to 10 if that goal stands we'll stay in the lead we've got a lot of game left to play sorry for a little interruption in coverage there as Michigan attempting to score we have missed no goals it was just a stoppage And Ball State will bring that back up. Thank you for sticking with us. Well, it looks like Michigan's gonna pressure and Jolly's gonna get rid of it. He's got a receiver down there. The receiver shoots. No good there, that was number 17. And Ball State saves himself a turnover. Saves himself really a turnover turned into a goal. It still goes back to Michigan either way. Majeski now in a keeper for Michigan. Majeski. Big pass over the top to number 56. She steps out of bounds. And Ball State will need to inbound the ball. Michigan pressuring the, the ball. And Ball State will recover from that. They get their beater back in the play, they do. After the long missed beat there. And cautiously trying not to use their reset. Number 56 able to tap the ball away. Recovers it for Michigan. Majeski looking for his options and slows up. Majeski center. Majeski driving in, gets around Taylor, dodges a beat. Majeski shoots, no good. But he's got RCC who runs it down for him. RCC's gonna run in, gets wrapped up, backhands it, pass to number 98, no good, as RCC's gonna get another chance, and now he dunks it. And we've got a player down. Our athletic training staff will come talk to them. Scoreboard says 10 all, not 100% sure if that's correct. Michigan showing a little more dominance here as we progress through this game. According to the eighth man ELO rankings, Michigan most statistically likely to win the entire thing based on their ELO standing. It looks like the quaffle is going to come back. Goal was good. And now it is 2010. An earlier goal for Ball State didn't count. Michigan playing man defense here. 
Bludgers wide. Batted away by RCC on the pass. He's got one man to beat. And RCC with the thunderous dunk through the contact. And that is now 30-10 as Michigan has some momentum. Ball State passes far side, number 87. He's got beater protection. Pass to 90. Pass up to Taylor. Man, just to keep himself from resetting. To 90. Ball State, patient offense as they've been all day, as they've been all year. They're looking for those beater plays. And Michigan completely destroying that. And now Ball State with no bludger back is going to get beat. And now RCC's got it again. He's trying to get taken down. And he slams it home either way. And Ball State <laughs> taking their time out. And Michigan, all the momentum. They've got the B team, Bear Train on the sidelines cheering for them. I've seen some parents here cheering for them. Ball State needing to reassess what their game plan is, what they're going to do. Seem to be having a lot of trouble getting budget control back, and the offense isn't willing to move forward without it. Michigan probably trying to keep the same cadence, the same momentum that they're doing. They're keeping close to their assignments, making sure that Ball State cannot get on the inside of their defense. Ball State also probably hoping that this timeout cools off some of Michigan's hype, throws off their rhythm just a little bit, so that maybe they can regain some footing. The sun is down, the lights are on, and the wind is up, and it is biting out here. It is flat in this entire park. There is absolutely nothing blocking this wind. We've seen a few passes float uh, earlier today, as well as in this game. The wind has been touch and go, but pretty calm. This has probably been the windiest it's been for the entire day. With the timeout over, Ball State with the ball. And Taylor will bring it up for Ball State. Michigan with bludger control still. Taylor bringing it up center. Seven to Taylor. Ball State throwing their bludger back. It looks like they're going to pressure. I right, had to get away out of the way of the ball there, and Michigan comes away with the ball. Player was running right at me. Score is currently 40-10 in favor of Michigan. Majeski breaks the tackle and he puts it through. And now 50-10, it is out of snitch range as Kaufman checks in a keeper for Ball State as they have a full line change. Kaufman and Jolly directing traffic. Over number six. She dances to the outside. Beaters are getting the Michigan beaters down. Jolly on the outside. And Michigan still maintains control after a little skirmish in the center. Jeske directing traffic for the defense. Ball State still having issues and they're gonna use their reset here as they were pressured by Michigan. With one bludger down. Never mind, she's back up and in the play. Ball State kind of playing on their heels here. And now a missed beat, and that turns uh, the 
<laughs> bludgeon control over. Shot and miss. Michigan has it, but they lose bludgeon control in the process. And this might be the break that Ball State needed. Majeski protected by De La Riva. Down to Thomas. Back up to Majeski. Reset is used. Majeski was able to block the beat. And Michigan recovers bludger control. Their beater came way far up the pitch, number 60. <laughs> Jesse looking for his options now as Michigan's going to send their beaters in soon. And with the bludgers down, Majeski's going to drive. He gets beat. The pass goes high and errant. Michigan able to come down with it. Number 54, his pass too high to be fielded. Michigan still comes down. And... A tackle there, but Michigan still comes up with it. Another beat, then number 48, and finally back in the hands of Majeski. So, a tumultuous possession so far, but Majeski still at the top of the key. Bludgers are on the ground, all three are on the ground. Majeski shoots, misses, just off the rim on the lower side. And Kaufman comes up with that one. Tough possession for Michigan. Ball State seeing if they can get something going here, try to get that bludgeon control back. The score remains 50 to 10. Jolly looking, one bludger out of the play. Jolly shoots, no good, and that'll be Michigan ball. As there's no bludger back, Michigan's gonna big, big pass bobbled picked up by number 19 he's got shifty feet passing to the inside unable to connect number 54 picks up the rebound and it looks like it's going to be wrapped from behind on Kaufman we'll see if uh, we'll see if that's a problem there Initiating contact from behind, yellow card on Kaufman. That certainly doesn't help all state in this scenario. Number 54, Thomas will have the ball here in line with the hoops. He's got Majeski in the back. He's got the chaser in the front. One right next to the hoops with a meter. And ball state with one bludger. Thomas decides to run it to the front himself as he gets wrapped up by Jolly, gets double teamed and taken down. And that's a big defensive stand by Ball State there. And does he get the ball taken away again? There's a scrum and it looks like Ball State comes away with it. A tough defensive stand there for Ball State. Hoping to get something going here as Jolly brings it up center. Still down one. Chaser as Kaufman is in the box. Jolly realizes he's got no beaters back. And Michigan is going to press. And the ball gets stripped. It's number 19 for Michigan. He's got Jolly to beat. Jukes still scores. Jolly got the wrap on him, but wasn't enough. And Kaufman's back in. Ball State comes back to full strength. Michigan capitalizing on that power play. Now it is 60-10. Michigan building a slow but slightly more comfortable lead. Number 
190 ball handling for Ball State coming to the near side. Now he's going to drive in, find Kaufman. Kaufman couldn't handle it. And Majeski comes away with it there. A new tactic there for Ball State, deciding to drive directly at the beaters, not waiting for their beater to get the bludger out of the way. Fortunately, it didn't work there. If Kaufman would have come down with it, that might have been a goal. Thomas now ball handling for Michigan. As Michigan makes a few substitutions. Protected by De La Riva. Pass over to Rash. Ball State with larger control here. Rash, he gets his shot blocked or pass. And now number 90's on a run. He's got two players to beat. Passes off to 17. Goal! <laughs> Slams that one home and ball stage for the first time in about 10 minutes with a goal. It is 60-20. That lead gets a little smaller here as Michigan bring it back up as Stevenson back in for Michigan. Now Ball State creating pressure. Thomas with the ball for Michigan. And now they'll get themselves back in the play after some slight pressure from Ball State. Over to Stevenson. Ball State still with control. And they're going for the press. Big pass down to Rosh. And I don't think that was so much an intended pass as it was just to prevent the press and turnover and the subsequent potential goal. The snitch is out on the field. We are teetering on the edge of snitch range. It's number 90, directing traffic. Ball State still with bludger control. Still hoping to open up the middle. 90 comes in, shot low. And that'll be Michigan's ball. Bit of a squandered possession there. They maintain budget control though, which is key, especially with Seekers about to be on pitch. Stevenson will bring it up. Stevenson near side. He's going to run it around. Now he's bringing it back up. Looking for his opening. He gets wrapped up. Gets around Jolly. Jolly gets beat. Stevenson once more. Slips out of another tackle. Passes down to Rash. Rash. Shot blocked at the hoof. Ball State's got it. Ball State defending on the snitch now. And a missed shot off a pass for Ball State. Jolly wishing he could have that one back, certainly. Not sure if that was clear, but that's what the referee called. <laughs> Stevenson flipping it to the inside, pass handled by Ball State. As he's on a tear, he gets tripped up, loses the handle, and Michigan's going to scrum for it here, and Ball State's going to get beat. Lucky trip up there for Michigan as they've regained larger control, and now they're going to give their seeker some time. Noah De La Riva getting some time. At Seeker, as Stevenson comes in. Stevenson wrapped up. He's not going anywhere. And pass off to Rash there as he's going to run in. And over the keeper, dunk! And that'll be 70-20 in favor of Michigan as they move more comfortably out of range.
complete miscommunication there, and he just throws it away out of bounds. And Michigan will hit bounds. Allstate's still defending at Seeker. Pass inside, blocked from Michigan or from Ball State, passed by Michigan. And the keeper, it's now Kaufman. Kaufman with the ball, the keeper on his right side. Kaufman driving in, striding down the field. And a quick snaking arm motion, and Kaufman's got the goal. 70-30, once again on the edge of snitch range. And it looks like his beater's not going to give him help when they're going on offense. They want to get further out of range. Stevenson driving in. He puts him in the spin move. Puts it through the hoop. And now they're back up to 50. And Michigan maintains budget control and the lead. Passes to 87 on the near side. Reset used there as Ball State feeling the pressure. Michigan with pleasure control. Ball State not really feeling they can do much on offense here. We'll see if they can. Back to Kaufman to 87. He bobbles it. And it looks like Ball State able to get pleasure control back off that one. So <laughs> the bobble turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Kaufman on the far side. Kaufman pass across the hoops. Ill advised, and the keeper picks it up. Stevenson's on the run. He's got a few men to beat. Goes over the top of the keeper, and that is a good goal. Michigan, 80-30. Pardon me, pardon me, that is 90-30. Ball stay passing it around up top themselves around. Ball stays still with much control. As Ball stayed. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a pass or a shot. Either way, it was way outside and the opposite direction of her chaser. And intercepted by the keeper. And now Michigan will take a few subs. The Seeker game's been pretty quiet here as Michigan tries to add to their lead of six. 60, really, six goals. <laughs> All right, Michigan now deciding they're gonna get in the beater game. Ooh, that was a great beater play by Ball State, but it doesn't matter because Michigan comes away with budget control and the goal. And now the keeper's gonna run down the field. He's got two to beat, and no good. And now De La Riva's got some time with the snitch. We'll wait until the qualifier comes back into play, and then we'll move back to that after the snitch. A hard beat for the snitch game as Michigan brings it down the field, number 54. He's turning, he's spinning, he gets Wrapped up, but it doesn't matter. He gets the pass off, and that is number 56 who scored that one for Michigan, making the lead 110 to 30. Ball State going against Michigan's two-budger defense here. 
And with the beater miss, it looks like they're going to just throw it away. Oh, but he is the ball stayed able to steal the ball, but loses his broom. He just hands it to the other team. So frustrated with himself. And Michigan now getting another chance of the snitch. Oh, and he's got it. De La Riva, if this one stands, it's 140 to 30, and Michigan is at top of the pool. Referees are going to conference on that one, but it looked pretty darn clean. Go! 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 The Michigan contingent is hyped. It's the last game of the day. Ball State looking a, a little worse for wear here. Michigan gave him quite a ride. And the catch by Michigan is good. Final score, 142-30. Michigan has won Pool C and moved on one step closer to winning this regional tournament. I'd like to thank you all for joining me. I have been Matt Dwyer. Please tune in tomorrow as we continue our coverage of Great Lakes Regional Championship here at the Voice of America Park in Westchester Township, Ohio. Who will it be? Will it be Michigan or will it be another team? Please tune in tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe our videos and also hit that little bell so you get notified when we go live. I'd like to thank you all for joining me this evening. Have a good night.